Hello and welcome to Susan Ewa, the platform where we speak truth to power. I'm going to give you like five, ten minutes to listen to this um, particular podcast. Um, you're going to see um, Gaduje, Gudade Kazauri, Honorable Gudade Kazauri. He's going to tell us a lot about this particular information. Uh, 27, I don't know, 27 trillion naira or thereabouts gone missing and uh, uh, and uh, in different bank accounts and uh, yeah trillions of naira in 27 different bank accounts or, sorry trillions of naira in 27 different bank accounts where's that money gone so we're going to play this and i want you to have a listen to listen to it have a listen have a listen here goes <clears throat> one minute house I quickly came late, but I rush. I meet her. When I raise my hand, speaker intend to allow me to contribute, but he seek the advice of the deputy speaker. The deputy, deputy speaker told him that he should not allow me to talk. And definitely, Nigerian must know why the deputy speaker tell the speaker that they should not allow me to question the deputy civilian governor because I came with my documents because all the questions they are questioning her they didn't question her what is supposed to ask her about the economic of the country the civilian they are hidden monies in different accounts which is the money is enough to solve the nation debt local and the international to pound the budget without borrowing and to even add our foreign reserve so that is why they're supposed to ask her that question what is that money are i'm sure media you see we released some document to rules a point blank we released 29 account account names and number where the 73 leon is there if somebody said that money there is no that money in the money is more than 70 trillion or 80 trillion we are mentioning. But why the leadership refused to allow me to talk, to ask her a question? That is question number one. Then question number two, if you look at the situation we are going in this country now, the, the people in the village, all of you, you have villages, you know villages. Some village there is no network. Some village there is no bank. Our local people that are selling fish, yam, maize, rice, animals in the villages, they are not using bank. Some they don't have bank account. Look at the prostration is coming in the next days. I want you media to understand this what I am saying. Indeed, in the next two, one month, this country, the frustration will be high. You have to er educate the government and the people. They say if a man from village come to the local government from his village with his money like 100,000 or 200,000 to change in the bank, they will not give him cash while he came with the cash. He must open account. Somebody from his from the local government to his village is almost 50 kilometers. Somebody can spend one month, two months, he never come to the local government headquarters. He is doing his business with his money. He doesn't have bank account. When he brought his money to the bank, they will not give him cash as he brought cash. He must open account and give him a, 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 a ATM card. While in his village, no network, no bank, no ATM, no POS. So how village people can do business with the cash? This is what the media is supposed to educate Nigerian people to understand. A village people, how now can you use cash? You cannot use cash and buy and selling in the village market. How are they survive? And majority of the Nigerian people are, are, are common people. Almost 150 to 130 million people they are suffering. So. I surprised this leadership. They refused, allowed me to talk. I don't know why. Oh, because 
they have been a beating put on the CBN, I don't know. I don't know why. Because the deputy CBN gum know that money hidden in different accounts in the CBN that is enough to solve the nation debt, national and international. Why they refuse to open stamp duty central account to move that money to settle the nation debt to fund our budget without borrowing? This is what I want to ask her. That money in different account hidden in the CBN. If you can see Mont, Mont, uh, point blank, they released 29 account with the names with the money of 70 trillion. Is anybody came and, and challenged them that that account number is like? So this, it means the 70 trillion is there hidden in different account in different commercial banks, including the CBN, but under watch and control of the CBN. So that is why I want to ask her, why are they appear to open stamp duty central account? Secondly, why am I be run away? Why did the CBN governor run away and refuse to come back and send her? I know be how we invite. We invite the CBN governor. He ran away. He's on the run away. That is why we decide to, to arrest him because already he's on bail and uh, we are not satisfied with the way he is doing. And uh, I want you media to tell Nigerian today, the DSS, they went to court. Some prominent people in this government went to prostrate the court and tell the court they should not allow to give DSS the detention, 60 day detention order of MAPLA because the DSS has a proof. They see some accounts where MAPLA is giving loan to terror terrorists. They have proof that he is funding terrorism. He gives loans to terrorists wh what whom they buy guns and terrorizing the country. So that is why they charge him, they charge him as terrorism financer. And uh, yesterday, I am disappointed with the Khan. I am very disappointed with the Khan yesterday. Very, very disappointed with the Khan. Because when you say Khan, Christian Association of Nigeria, these people are supposed to be on the, always supporting the common people. Because religious, if you say Islam or Christian, is something religion. A religion comes with help and assist to mankind. So how can can are trying to make this to, to make this thing politics? They are trying to protect the CBN government. Why? Somebody who is prostrating the economy, why there are people in the villages and the almost 80% of the Christians are suffering in this nation? And they are trying to protect him because of what? Because they collect loans from CBN or what? Why can't I pro are trying to, to politi politicize this issue? It's not an issue of politics. It's an issue of economic. We are not fighting CBN government. We are not pursuing CBN government. We, he didn't block anything for us. But our investigation shows that the money we are borrowing, we have money. We are borrowing government, government money. We have money to solve all the nation debt. We have international and local. And we have money to fund our budget without borrowing. Why the Khan are trying to make this thing politics? That is what is surprising me. People are trying to go and tell the president lie. They are trying to tell the president lie. We supposed to be, I supposed to be supported by the Khan. I supposed to be supported as Nigerian people are supporting this issue. Let allowed us to enter CBN and see those account if we are lying. In the next one month, we will settle the nation debt, and we will we will call the journalists and tell them we recover not 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. The money is more than 89 trillion. There is nobody stronger than the president. What happened is 
the president believe in paper and reality. I am the only person that will go and brief the president my report, my committee report. What I see, what they are hidden, they block me. Are you the only one in the committee? I am. I am not the only one. So but why is I, that you are the only one? I am. The, I am the secretary to the committee. All the documents are with me, and the president directed me to go and brief him in weekly basis. My advice to president is: he should call me as he approved this committee between me and him. He should call me and ask me the report of this committee. This is my advice. Let president call me. Where are they blocking me to see the president? Let the president, you media, let you send the message to reach the president. Let the president invite me. Let the president call me. I am sure if president call me, I will tell him what he will never allow these people to continue running this government in a rubbish way. My issue will not be swept under the carpet because I am sure even this government, they didn't allow this thing to continue. Any man, anybody that emerged as a president in this country, he must invite me, he must support this committee to continue because it's the only way to sustain this nation without borrowing. Yeah. So... As you can see, um, that's a lot of money. 27 accounts with trillions of Naira in it. 27 accounts with trillions of Naira in it. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? How are you seeing that video? What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. You're watching this is Newai, the platform where we speak truth to power. Please, we urge you subscribe to this Newai. Subscribe. Hit notification button. Give us a thumbs up. Help us reach more people. We really need your support. You, of course, watch this in AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. Help us subscribe, hit the notification button, and of course, give us a thumbs up. We need to expose all of these things to continue to shine a light to make sure that we expose the light, this, this, these feelings. And that is why we are urging all of us as citizens to begin to actively participate in our governance. Uh, we have to be the ones who are going to be watching what the politicians are doing. That is the only way we can end uh, corruption. If we don't participate in our governance, they will continue to loot. It is that simple. So, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, subscribe to Zine where the platform where we speak truth to power and leave a comment uh, about what your thought, what your thoughts are. And uh, thank you for watching. And bye for now. Bye for now.